We all know that elephants don't use toothpaste, even though their teeth are the biggest and cleanest in all of the animal kingdom. So what is elephant toothpaste? Elephant toothpaste is a popular science experiment, where the reaction between a few chemical reactants makes a column of the experiment produces a large amount of the toothpaste which would generally be needed to brush an elephant. This is the overall reaction. It is exothermic, meaning that heat is released during the reaction. In the reaction, two hydrogen peroxide molecules decompose with the help of a sodium iodide catalyst into two water molecules and one oxygen molecule. History of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, the reactant in elephant toothpaste. In 1818, hydrogen peroxide was discovered by J. L. Thernard. Then in 1856, F. F. Shane Bine identified hydrogen peroxide in living organisms. In 1900, a low discovered catalase. In 1910, J. H. Castle described the oxygen transfer of oxidases that produce H2O2. In 1956, D. Harmon proposed the radical theory of aging. In 1967, J. R. McRipley discovered the H2O2 myeloperoxide bactericidal system. In 1971, B. Chance measured the mitochondrial H2O2 formation. M. B. Braid measured the catalase activity in mice of different ages. In 1993, W.C. Orr and R.S. Sohal demonstrated that the overexpression of rust scavenging enzymes in Drosophila melanogaster increases lifespan. In 1999, Migliaccio et al. described the longevity phenotype of the P66 mouse. In 2005, Giorgio Elicdate had the molecular mechanism of P66-mediated mitochondrial H2O2 production. Wear disposable gloves and safety glasses. Oxygen is evolved in this reaction, so do not perform this demonstration near an open flame. Also, the reaction is exothermic, producing a fair amount of heat, so do not lean over the graduated cylinder when the solutions are mixed. Leave your gloves on following the demonstration to aid with clean. <laughs> and stand back. You might want to move the notebook in case. Are you videotaping? Yeah. Alright, I'm a medieval scientist. Okay. Pour it all in. Just pour it all in. Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> that was awesome. What happens if we shook the thing now? Okay, one of the things was that this was not straight out of the fridge and cold. This was room temperature. Mm -hmm. That made a huge difference. What if we So if that was cold? If you shake it now, I don't know. Right? So if it was cold, it would have been better? It's all warm. Is it really? If it was cold, it would have okay. been better. So how about you stick a thermometer Whoa. in it and read it? Yeah, grab a thermometer. I think how it's really that? hot, dude. Yeah. Right, so if it was colder, it would have been better? Possibly. You saw the steam coming off of that, right? We never saw those in any of the videos. Yeah. I wonder if you caught it, actually. We just did it. We just did it. That was awesome. It was like... I know, right? And then, and then it's like, wait, wait. Wait for it. Go for the thermometer. Let's see what it says. Should I stop recording? Go. Go. Team Red. Nick, do you want to see Team Blue. Team Blue shall be prevalent. That looks... Uh -oh. Came out neither uh -oh. blue nor... Team Blue! It was white. Team Blue. <laughs> hey, yeah, so we can use How that for white. How did we get white that time? Hey, that's blue and white. It's kind of blue. Someone taste it. <laughs> well, now we know that if we want to no. have red, white, and blue, we can always do. Can I taste it? No. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, I think it's that? lemon and cherry. So, why, is it, why is it yellow at the bottom? It is the sodium like a, uh, potassium. Okay, let's go back to ours. Or can it I see, smells can I see? raspberry. <laughs>